Hello and welcome to Pep Talk with me, Mr Pepperell. Today we're starting a new topic on radioactivity and the first thing I'd like to think about is the discovery of radioactivity. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to tell me what is a radioactive substance. So before we get started on this, just in case if you're a bit unsure about the structure of an atom, that's going to be important for this topic, okay? So just check out my video entitled Inside an Atom on Nomia, just to refresh yourself before we start, and then we can get on with this new topic. So the first thing we need to do for this topic is to get a little bit of background and make sure we understand what radiation actually is. And to do that, we need to look at the discovery of this guy over here, and he's a French guy, and his name was Henri Becquerel. Now, back in 1896, Becquerel was a physicist, and one day he needed some photographic film for one of his experiments he was carrying out, and he got his photographic film out, and he discovered this. Okay, now here's his notes, which I can't read up there, but this was the important part down here. The film, although he thought it was new, already featured the image of a mysterious key, we can see it there, on the uh, film. And Becquerel didn't know why or uh, from where this image had come until he realised that this piece of film had been stored away in a drawer underneath a pile of things. And the thing that was on top of the film was the key. Okay, And he thought, well, there's obviously some sort of relationship here. And when he checked, he found the key had actually been placed between the film and a package of uranium salts. Okay, Now, uranium salts contain the element uranium. Okay, From this piece of evidence, Becquerel concluded the salts must have given out some sort of radiation that passed through the paper wrapper they were wrapped up in, but had been blocked by the key. Now, Becquerel over here, he wants to know a little bit more about this, but he's a busy man, so he asked his research assistant, whose name was Marie Curie, to investigate it. So Marie Curie, who we can see here, and you might recognise that name from a chain of charity shops, and that might become a bit more obvious why in a minute. Okay, what Marie Curie found was the salts were constantly emitting this radiation, so she referred to this as radioactivity, the fact that this substance was giving out radiation. And a radioactive substance gives out radiation because it's got an unstable nucleus, okay, and it becomes stable by emitting radiation. Now we're going to explore that idea a bit more in a later lesson, but she was the first person who came with this, this idea, okay, and along with her husband, Marie Curie continued her work and discovered lots of new radioactive elements, okay, and the Curies eventually, along with Becquerel, were awarded this thing here, which is quite important in the world of physics, it's the Nobel Prize for Physics, and they got that for the discovery of radioactivity. Now, that wasn't Marie Curie's only discovery. She went on to receive a second Nobel Prize because she discovered a, a number of previously unknown elements. The first one here is radium, which was used up until, well, not recently, but it used to be used to make the luminous numbers on the dial of a clock. And she also discovered the element polonium, okay, which she named after her home country of Poland, so it was named Polonium, okay? Now, unfortunately for Curie, her continued exposure to the radiation during her work caused her to develop um, leukemia, which is a disease of her blood cells in later life, and that's what she died from in 1934. And the Marie Curie cancer shops that you see on the high street nowadays are there to raise money for people who suffer from leukemia. So that is the discovery of radioactivity, the work of Henri Becquerel and Marie Curie. So that's a little bit about the initial discovery of radioactivity, and next time on Pep Talk we'll think about what is actually being emitted by a radioactive substance. Okay, any problems on what we've heard today, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr underscore Pepperell or email me, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.